Activist Lejeune Hathlul, home from 1001 nights in Saudi jail, weak but mentally strong according to her family, and craving ice cream. She didn't have ice cream for three years, so she really was desperate to get it. Uh, we condemn. In Washington, D.C., her release, a celebration of sorts, too. It is something uh, we have uh, pressed for. Releasing her was the right thing to do. But Lujain, who was arrested May 2018 for campaigning for women to be allowed to drive, is not fully free, not allowed to leave the country for five years or speak publicly. But her sisters, who live outside Saudi, can and are. We should not be satisfied with the release only um, and that as long as she's still on a travel ban and that um, her torturers are not sentenced, um, we shouldn't be happy. Yet even so, they admit this could be President Joe Biden's first foreign policy win. Respecting the rule of law. It is a fact that she was released few days, few weeks after Biden's arrival to power. So... Um, and I, uh, I have to say, yes, uh, without international pressure, we cannot obtain something. For an hour, the pair answered reporters' questions. Has Biden really changed Saudi's powerful crown prince, Mohammed bin Salman, MBS? Everything he's doing is for his image and to be legitimate, um, to be the one uh, the, the West chooses, basically, to be the, the, the ally and uh, inside of the country as well. Um, he, he did a coup. Um, he, he's not the one who was supposed to, to be crown prince. The Saudi government has not responded to any of the sisters' comments. While Lujain was in jail, MBS repealed laws she had campaigned against that banned women from driving and controlled their movements through male guardianship, which helped win the king-in-waiting wide support. But Lujain's sisters say she has experienced another side of MBS. One of his top aides, Saud al Qatani, whom Turkish authorities claimed had a lead role organising Washington Post columnist Jamal Khashoggi's murder in 2018, but didn't face trial in Saudi, was present, the sisters say, during her torture. Torture, the government denies. She knew him. Uh, he was uh, there during the torture session. He was attending the, the torture session. So uh, we are sure about him, about his name. For the Hathlouls, Lujain's jailing has become an awakening. With the experience I gained, I can also, you know, uh, help a lot of uh, other families, I would say. And um, uh, I don't think I have the heart to not to just ignore every, everything I know now. Saudi's most high-profile female activist released, possibly a beginning. Nick Robertson, CNN, London.